Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera. Hi girls. Okay, today we want to learn about symmetry. Axis of symmetry. Okay, how we will learn symmetry. Okay. What is axis of symmetry? Okay, axis of symmetry is a straight line that divide any shape or diagram into two equal parts of the same shape and size. Okay, okay, axis of symmetry is a straight line that divide any shape or diagram into two equal parts of the same shape and size. Okay, look at this picture. Okay, if this picture is fall along the blue line, both part we overlap each other exactly like this. Okay, this is the line. Okay, this blue line is called the axis of symmetry. Okay, this blue line is called axis of symmetry. When you fold, okay, when you fold along the blue lines, okay, we can get this, okay, can get the same shape and size, okay, do you understand? Okay, for example, like this star, okay, like this star, okay. 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 This line we call axis of symmetry. Okay. This line we call axis of symmetry. Okay. This line. Okay. When we fold this star, okay, along this line, we can get same shape and size. Okay. Okay. This is a symmetry line. Symmetry line. Okay. This. Do you understand? Okay. Now, we want to watch a video. Okay. Today we will learn symmetrical figures, asymmetrical figures, and line of symmetry. So let's get started. Here is an image of a heart. Can you fold it exactly halfway so that its two halves are exactly similar? Or one half completely covers the other half? Let's try. Here we are folding it. Yeah, it completely covers the other half. And when you can fold a shape in half and one half exactly covers the other half, we can say that the shape is symmetrical. And the fold line is the line of symmetry. So, this shape is a symmetrical shape. And this line of fold that divides this shape into two similar halves is the line of symmetry. Now, let's try this with another figure. Here we have an image. Let's try to fold it and see if it is a symmetrical figure or not. Here we are folding it. Yes, if we fold this image here, it completely covers the other half. So it's a symmetrical image. And this line of fold is its line of symmetry. 
Now, let's try the same with another figure. Here is a rectangle. Let's fold this rectangle halfway. If we fold it here, it does not work. Example, one half does not cover the other half. So let's try another way. Let's fold it this way. Yeah, if we fold it here, it works. That is, one half is completely covering the other half. So we got to know that this figure is symmetrical and this line of fold is the line of symmetry. Now kids, you have a fair idea what are symmetrical figures and what is line of symmetry. Now, let's see a few examples of some symmetrical figures and their line of symmetry. Here we have a butterfly and we can fold it exactly halfway. So it's a symmetrical figure. And the line of fold is the line of symmetry. Here we have another symmetrical figure, a rabbit. And we can fold it exactly halfway. So it's a symmetrical figure. And the line of fold is the line of symmetry. Here are some more examples. A is a perfect example of symmetrical figures. This smiley too. And this trapezium too. Have a look at all these figures and their line symmetry. Kids, now let's learn making a symmetrical figure. It's interesting. Let's take a piece of paper. Now fold it halfway and make any shape along the fold like this. And cut it out. Now open the fold. What do you see? Here is a symmetrical shape with two halves that can cover each other. And this line of fold is our line of symmetry. You can make many symmetrical figures this way. Now, let's learn about the line of symmetry of a circle. Here we have a circle. Is it a symmetrical figure? Let's find it out by folding it halfway. Yes, if we fold it halfway, it's one half covers the other half completely. So it's a symmetrical figure. Now let's see how many lines of symmetry can you make in a circle. Try folding the circle halfway. We can fold it here. We can fold it here too. So we can make any number of lines of symmetry in a circle. As all the lines that pass through the center of the circle are lines of symmetry. Kids, now let's see some asymmetrical figures. This is an asymmetrical figure. As we can't fold it into two halves, that can cover each other, like this. Here are some more examples. Have a look. These figures are asymmetrical. These numbers and characters are perfect. Examples of asymmetrical figures. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn Okay, do you watch the video? Do you understand what is symmetry, line, and axis of symmetry?
get to at this okay this picture of house has one axis of symmetry okay look at the line of symmetry this is the blue line one if we fold this according to the blue line we get the same size and shape okay we look example here regular pentagon has five axes of symmetry because they are five straight side with this one two okay okay look at the picture it is the blue line and axis of symmetry yes this is not axis of symmetry because we fold this when we fold this according to the blue line is not cover the half the other cover uh, cover the others okay okay let's try how many axes of symmetry do this shape have you look here how many a how many lines okay okay one two okay this shape has two axis of symmetry okay you look at b how many axis of symmetry here is one two three and four okay blue we got four line of symmetry as this shape okay can you draw the line of symmetry for shape of this and this how many okay can you do it do you understand what we learned today about axis of symmetry okay if you understand now do exercise at your activity book page 135 until page 138 see you again